All right, guys, over my messy desk, because I've been doing a, a lot of unboxings of parts that are all going into their own video so that you guys can be informed about computer parts. We have this. It's the Gigabyte Aorus X570 Aorus Elite. <laughs> um, it has a AMD's X570 chipset and AMD's AM4 socket. Look at that. It's a really, really nice motherboard. Okay, so there's the motherboard itself. We're gonna place that on some cardboard. Let's see what we get underneath it, because I know there's some. Okay, we get a lot of SATA cables. We won't be using many of the, any of them. Gigabyte G connector. Oh, that's really helpful. I like this. Um, more motherboards should include this thing. So it's kind of like a standardized somewhat, um, what, did, what is it called? You know, front panel connector setup. Okay, this is really helpful. I'll show you in the PC build video if you can get, if you can see it, if you see that video, all right? M.2 screw, nice. And of course, the users may. Oh, hang on, CD. Nice. So it's drivers and utilities. Nice. And we also get a sticker. That is really nice. I might put it on my fridge outside. Yeah, I might put it on my fridge. <laughs> Weirdest place to put a sticker, though. Oh, the CD was in there. Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. it. looks like the end. I'll put the CD back into its sleeve so I don't scratch it up. Even though, you know, we don't use CDs anymore in the year of 2020. At least I don't. Good. Put that back. Put this back. Put that. And we'll put the motherboard back in there. Actually, we'll go over what's on this motherboard. Come on. Put it back in there. Oh yeah, speaking of that M.2 screw, we might install it now. So it comes in an anti-static bag. So remember to ground yourself before working with computer parts, or else you may risk damaging or destroying them. Set that down in its card. Actually, I should set it down on the cardboard box. Good. Sorry, I'm handling it a bit wrong, but they said you could put it on the cardboard box, and it'll all be good. Now, let's deal with that. Let me get my small screwdriver. Hang. Good. Let's unscrew that and see what we get for the M.2. Oh, okay. It comes with its own thermal pad. And... Okay, so I know the M.2 we're using is 2280. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare the motherboard. By using this screw and placing it over the M.2 2280 right here, the one that says 80. And tightening it down. Actually, good, that's tightened down. And we'll use my knife, cut open this. Of 
close the knife so I don't cut myself. That'll be bad. Oh, okay. Um, now I want to do this. Place that screw over the M.2 280 one where we installed that standoff and tighten it down. Good. Now it's ready for me to install a M.2 drive. Um, anyway, it comes with a fan, a little fan right here to cool down the chipset. We'll close that up. Don't need it right now. Maybe I accidentally opened it. Or it came like that. Uh, okay, there's plastic here. We don't want it to melt when I make it run. It's just going to be a disclaimer. This is not an installation of anything yet. Good. Hopefully there isn't any more plastic on this thing. Like, you'd cover, you know. All right, so there it is. There's the motherboard. It has four DDR4 slots. Those are RAM. Uh, it has massive heat sinks for the VRMs, I think. Those are VRMs. Uh, it has two PCIe X16s and also two PCIe X1 slots. So you can install stuff. And six SATA ports, a USB 3.1 Type-C connector right here. USB, two USB 3s, two USB 2.0s. Uh, one audio jack, obviously, and the front panel connectors. They're there, and that's what's on this board. So, yeah, I don't want to damage this anymore. Hopefully, I won't damage it. But I'm going to put this back and put it back in its anti-static bag so that, so that I don't damage it. Because this is actually quite an expensive board. Good. So yeah, I'm going to put that back in this box, and thanks for watching. Hope you found this kind of helpful. Oh wait, no, I'm not going to put it back in this box. For, forget what I said earlier, because I'm going to go over a little more. First, it has two, four, actually. One, two, three, four fan headers. Um, one, two, three, four RGB headers for, like, you know, lights. CPU power is up there. Motherboard power is here. Socket is AM4. There's actually five LED headers. Sorry about that. And yeah, that's kind of it. It's a pretty basic board. I shouldn't say basic, but it doesn't have that little screen like the Asus one does. That's actually a pretty good thing. It displays some vital information. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you want to see more awesome videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it. And as always, I'll see you next time.